So guys, what I really want you to take away from this is that everything has gotten opposite. It's shown by our yin and yang. And to show it even further, today we're gonna watch grass grow. Jackson, can I go watch paint dry? You may do that over there. Thank you. Um, I have an idea. Why don't what? we watch these plants grow mm -hmm. while we meditate in order to get the full niceness of being in harmony with nature mm -hmm. and understanding patience and opposites. I think that's a good idea. What about you? It reflects our philosophy, so let's do that. Hey, Nick, come yeah, over here. Perfect. We're going to do something the awesome. Come on. Of Dow. It looks awesome. End of the first lesson. So in conclusion, Confucius taught us to rule our kingdoms justly and fairly and to respect our elders, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And in turn, they will set a good example, right? Correct. Okay, so, um, what are we supposed to do to our elders? Are we supposed to respect them or disrespect them or what? We're supposed to respect them and in return, they will set a good example for us as we grow up. Good. Nick? What are you doing? That is a moving violation, sir. You didn't even you didn't even know anything. That's it. Fine. True or false. Nick was playing just in class. Oh. Oh. So, Nick, true or false? Now, did Confucius teach us to rule our kingdoms harshly and unfairly? True or false? I'm true. What? Okay, you need to read the school on the punishments for moving violations and on what Confucius actually taught us, sir. That will be a Saturday school. Attention! Beginning of the first period before lunch where we will punish thieves who deserve what they get. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, there are five thieves to punish today. How would you punish them to enforce our strict legalist laws? Well, the legalist law says that all bad doing shall be awarded with punishment, so I will award them 75 to 150 lashes. Excellent, sir. Now, what you yes. need to know... Did you spill your drink? Mm. Yes or no? Say that to my face. Did you just spill your drink? Yes. T.A. T.A. Hey, T.A. Give this person 50 lashes. He just spilled his drink. I'm going to take out my fingers on some slaves, yo. Hey, slaves, get over here. You need punishing. Right now. Oh, <laughs> Here we are in Menlo Park, California, ready to present the Oscar Academy Awards. Here's our host, Andrew Pacharelli, to tell us who it will be. Okay, I know tonight lots of people have gotten the Oscar. This one, I think these two people really, really deserve. So I present this Academy Award to Nick Carpenter and Nico Blues. Dude, thank you, you thank really, you. really earned it. That, that was just okay. awesome. I'd like to know who you think. Okay, so thank you for the Academy. Um, you get a chance on me. Uh, thank you for my co-stars, Andrew and Eli. You told me to wrap it up. Okay. Thank you to my executive producer, Nico, my director slash supervisor, Mr. Lira. Thank you all. We are after the Oscar with Andrew Paterelli interviewing the two Oscar winning people about how they feel. Okay, so I know my doppelganger just gave you that awesome award. Uh, I watched the movie, it was really good, but I really the press, the media really wants to know. How did you get the idea for a movie about the three Chinese philosophies? How did that um, come about? We, we got it from our sixth grade teacher, Mr. Lira, oh, and, and yeah. our co-stars. He's nice. Our co-stars, Eli and Andrew. Yeah, he also looks like me. Why do you think that is? Yeah. A lot of people. Well, anyways, congratulations to you. I know you have to get on with your evening. Mm -hmm. I have to go back home, but um, I'll ask you more questions tomorrow, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Well,